welcome dear viewers in this video lecture and today our topic is binary arithmetic operations and in this we will study how binary addition binary subtraction and binary multiplication is done let us first start with the binary addition there are only four possibilities in which a binary number gets added it is 0 plus 0 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 and 1 plus 1 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 with the carry 1 we can also visualize 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 in the decimal and 2 is equal to 1 0 in the binary and thus we write 1 plus 1 in binary as a 0 and this one is carried forward to the next binary digits for addition let us consider the addition of following two binary numbers so we start from the lsb that is 1 0 is the addition of 1 and 0 is equal to 1 addition of 0 and 0 is equal to 0 addition of 1 and 1 is equal to 0 with the one carry forward to the next binary digits for the addition so we have now three ones that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3 and 3 is equal to 1 and 1 that is we write 1 as a result and 1 gets carried forward to the next uh, binary addition so now we have 1 0 and 0 that are to be added so the result will be 1 and at the msb we have 1 plus 1 so the result is 0 and the carry gets forward and this is the carry here this is how we do binary addition of two numbers now let us take next binary next arithmetic operation that is binary subtraction and in this again we have four possible operation that is 0 minus 0 0 minus 1 1 minus 0 and 1 minus 1 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 which is quite uh, understandable but if we think of 0 minus 1 that is we are subtracting 1 from the 0 it is not uh, as comprehensible as it seems to be so what we do here we borrow 1 for this 0 then it becomes 1 0 1 0 is equal to 2 and the result becomes 1 so 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 with 1 as the borrow at this point of time i want to mention that binary number subtraction will be explored much more when we go through two's complement representation of negative numbers right now if we are to subtract binary number bigger binary number from a smaller binary number what we will do is that we will subtract this smaller number from the bigger binary number and just append a negative sign in front of the result now consider the following example in which we have to subtract 1011 from 1001 and clearly we see that this number is bigger and this one is smaller as we can see that the decimal equivalent of 1011 is 11 and decimal equivalent of 1001 is 9 so we can see in decimal this will be something like 9 minus 11 which will be equal to minus 2 so from the binary perspective what we have to do is that we have to subtract smaller from the bigger one and then we just append negative in front of the result therefore we can see 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and since we have subtract to smaller from the bigger one we have to append minus here and clearly you can see that uh, 0 0 1 0 is the uh, decimal equivalent of 2 and there is negative appended in front of it we see that these two results match now the next binary uh, arithmetic operation we are going to talking about is binary multiplication so straight away we will take an example where we have to multiply 1 0 1 0 and triple 1 uh, if we see the decimal equivalent of 1010 0, 0, which is equal to 10 and the decimal equivalent of triple 1 is equal to 7 and se 10 multiplied by 7 is equal to 70 and in the 70 we have 64 then we have 4 and plus and 2 so we can clearly like, write it as binary form here so it will be 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 this is the binary form so when we are doing binary multiplication in this case the result should be this in binary multiplication we also follow the same procedure as we follow in decimal multiplication that is this one is to be multiplied with each uh, symbol here that is one multiplied by zero, uh, zero is zero one zero one then we make a cross here the next one is to be multiplied with each of the symbol here so zero one zero one we take a cross here then it will be again zero one zero one now what we need to do after that is we need to add these numbers now therefore this 0 will be present here 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 
and 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 with the 1 that is, has been carried forward. Now 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 with the carry forward here and 1 plus 1 is 0 and there is 1 carry. So the result here is 1 triple 0 1 1 0 which is same as that of the decimal multiplication. Now let us take another example where 1 1 1 1 is to be multiplied to itself that is 1 1 1 and 1. Therefore using similar procedure we can write 1 1 1 and 1 here then 1 1 1 and 1 here then 1 1 1 and 1 here and then 1 1 1 and 1 here and now we need to add these numbers. Now one can expect that there are a lot of binary uh, additions there will be a lot of uh, carry forwards and we have to really keep the track of each of the carry and which becomes really problematic. So what we can do is we can use another procedure here. So we can add this and we have a result here as 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which I told you that and we have to write 0 here and 1 is carried forward here. So we have here 4 ones. Now we have here 4 ones and 4 ones is equal to 4 and binary 4 is equal to 1 0 0. So we may write 0 here and 1 0 gets forward to the next uh, binary additions. So 1 0 is equal to 2. So actually 2 is getting forwarded to uh, next uh, addition process. So 2 plus there are 4 ones which is equal to 6. 6 is equal to uh, 1 1 0. So we again write here 0 and then 1 1 gets forwarded to next addition process and 1 1 is equal to 3. So 3 and again we have 3 ones. So again it is 6. So again 1 1 0. 0 is here and 1 1 gets forwarded to next addition process that is 3. So 3 here. So 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. 5 is equal to 1 0 1. So we have result here 1 and 0 1 0 gets forwarded to next addition process that is 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 is equal to 1 and 1. So this is how we do addition if there are a lot of ones present because there will be a lot of carries so it becomes really problematic. So what we do is we add these bits as a decimal number and then write the resultant as a binary and carry forward higher bits to the next addition process.